forget about this. The draft is always almost halfway <laughs> halfway done already, and we have the regular ban out of well met. It's stitches, and a ban on Tigus by alternate. Clever choice. Then first pickup is Tassada on well met side. Regular pick. Um, Tyrael for alternate. Faults that for alternate. Uh, Arthas uh, chose. Uh, <laughs> well met shows Arthas. Arthas shows well met. Um, then we have a noob for alternate. Uh, didn't work out so well for um, my Po Claviatur in that last game, but maybe they can work it out with uh, with a noob. And then we have Ufer for well met. So that's a really really strong pickup for both of these teams already. I mean Tassadar, Arthas, and Uther um, as the first three choices. Wow. Yeah, that's right. And alternate. Um, Fortstart did a really great job the games before. You have to watch him. He's a very, very strong player. Uh, Gu Guccio is usually playing Zagara, right? Uh, no, I, I, uh, let me think about it. What? I think Guccio, Guccio playing Fortstart here. Or Fortstart, okay. That's, that's a little bit surprising. Because I've seen him stream with Zagara, and uh, I think Zagara is also his, I don't know, like his Facebook cover profile pic or whatever. <laughs> Okay, uh, I think he was uh, he played a false set. Oh, by the way, we have some news incoming on chat. Um, they say uh, TSS Wiz says that they've played together for weeks, so maybe they weren't officially a team, but they they train, so oh. they should be in good condition. Yeah, they are. They definitely are. And uh, the next band's coming in, Kerrigan. That's extremely weird. Um, Kerrigan ban out of oh. well met, that doesn't make too much sense to me. And then we have the Nova ban out of alternate. Um, okay, with the combination they had going there, uh, Nova makes sense, uh, since you have Arthas, uh, Tess, um, Arthas and Ufer. And now we have Abathur coming in for well met. Oh jeez. Hmm. Who's playing Abathur? Do, do you have an idea on, on the Kerrigan ban? Um, I knew that um, alternate had a very strong carry gun the last match, but um hmm. Next pickup for alternate is Vala. Yeah, Vala is usually not seen uh, as one of the first uh, first assassin pickups, but since they already have false that and uh, Nova was banned, uh, it does make sense to take her. I mean, you don't have that many choices. Let's have a look here at our assassins. Um, only Zera tool. And yep. Reyna and um, Illidan were still left, and well, considering mm, considering that they have Tassadar, Zeratul doesn't make too much sense. Reyna, I think. Well, I'd, I'd go over over Vala. Uh, well, I, I'd pick Vala over Reyna, and then Illidan. Well, he he is a solid pickup, but maybe they're not too confident with him. Yeah, I think so. I like Vala in those games because um, I just can't remember last game they did a great action with her and. So much damage. Was okay, we have the final pickup here. Zeratul is going down for well met, and Brightwing comes in for alternate. So we see a lot of Brightwings picked tonight instead of Rhaegar. Um, a little bit of shift compared to last week's meta. Yeah, definitely. But I like to. Uh, I really love to see Brightwing, and the the teams so far have been doing a really good job and have really been using her mobility to their advantage. Um, I don't know what the map is going to be right now, so if it's Cursed Hollow again, uh, I really got to kill someone, because <laughs> I think we've only seen that uh, map tonight. Oh, I just I just saw... Um, oh, what the fuck, I forgot the map name. Um, Dragonshire, God of no, Terror, no, 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 Cursed, no, no. Uh, Cursed Hollow, um, Haunted Mines. Haunted Mines, that's it. I just want to say mines, but I'm in World of Tanks, and in World of Tanks, there's a map called Mines, and I just forget the other name, Haunted Mines. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm okay. no comment. Gucci fans are coming in, and we have a little clarification here by Spizio. He says uh, Gucci's main is Abathur, but he also plays a lot of Felstad. So yeah. he's probably going to be on the Felstad, and we just need to wait for the invite here. Gucci has a really large fan base. They all cheers the last matches for him. Well, it was quite nice to see. Um, which game are they coming from, by the way? Because I've heard they trained before. 
Uh, oh, I don't even know. For me, all these guys on you. Oh, your cam pick is uh, your cam is stuck for some reason. I don't mm. know why. Maybe it's on my part. I have no idea. Maybe you can turn it off for a second. And turn it back on. Um, they did. Uh, I think they were uh, previously banding together under the MYM, so Meteor Makers tag. And then after that disbanded, I think that's where the team came from. Oh, okay. And which game did, did they play before? Um, let's ask the fans. Did they play Dota or LoL before? Oh, I bet on StarCraft 2. <laughs> because uh, all no, I've, of I've not heard of these guys, so I doubt okay. it. And the lobby is up, so you can just... Oh no, never mind, I can't... We're not Battle.net friends yet, so I gotta give you that ID in a sec. Oh, that would be nice. Always forget my, my ID. So there you go. <laughs> the same to me. Alrighty. Let's do this. I'm on my way. Nozogara on either of these teams. Yeah, you're right with that. Actually a little bit surprised. Okay, I uh, got that friend request. Give me a sec. And I'll suggest you... Okay, where are you? There you are. Nice! Hey, you should be in the lobby now. Yes, you are. I'm on the way. Alright. Awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome to see that GG Hero works. Because I tried it so many times in those tournaments and tell the teams, hey guys, use it, but no, let's make the pick here in-game. Uh, by the way, um, since uh, Tommy uh, Tommy Dier is asking how the maps decided, I think it's a ban map by the mo by one team uh, with a higher seed, then ban map by the other team, and again yeah, right. ban until the last map is just left. And for now, we're in best of one state. We're only going to go uh, to that best of three later on. Yeah, that's right. Indeed, we are at the semifinals for now. I just thought that we are in the final. No, semifinals. Well, they, were, they were playing League of Legends before. Ah, oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> no me or no you. So I think the these guys know each other a little bit at least. Um, I mean, since they're on the same team, they should. Some of these guys still have the uh, MYM tag, so um, don't be weirded out by that. Yeah, uh, kind of. Kind of. <laughs> I, I hate. I, I have to think about League of Legends because I'm definitely no League of Legends fan. I like. I really like Dota, um, and League of Legends is uh, no way. To be to be honest, I've well, I've played a little bit of Dota. I played like maybe four League of Legends matches. Um, got a um, got a couple of friends together to uh, show me the game. Wasn't really that much into it for Dota. I don't know. Um, it was fun, but you got to learn so many heroes. You got to learn all these items. <laughs> so, like my way into MOBAs is heroes, uh, and it's not even a real MOBA for me. I mean, it feels more like like a brawler, like an arena brawler, yep. and I really love it. I mean, these short matches. Um, Team fights going on the entire time. There's really not much downtime. I mean, you can see it in the cast. I mean, my voice is almost failing here, and it's a lot of fun. I can tell yeah. you that. Um, so let's ask Chad. How many of you guys uh, have alpha access right now? Oh, <laughs> oh, this is gonna stir up. Yeah. this is gonna stir up some. <laughs> now you crash, crash, <laughs> Chad. Because so many people ask us, "Hey, where do you get your?" Alpha keys, and I said, no, there are no keys. You get no, there are no keys. I hate when people hate uh, say that. I hate when <laughs> people hate it. Um, no, I hate when people um, beg for keys or anything. But there are no keys. This has it. not given out keys since I don't know. Hearthstone didn't have keys, if I remember correctly. Yeah, you're right. I, I think they only given out keys uh, oh. for Diablo, maybe when yeah, that I was think so. still in. Uh, Friends and family? I'm not sure. I don't think I was. Years ago. Yeah, that that, that was a long time ago. Definitely. All right, uh, let's get started with the match. Let me just type that in, and we can get going here. 
All right, spawned on the left side of Cursed Hollow again. I can't take it. <laughs> we have our team in blue. Well met with the German StarCraft 2 pros. Thousand Clown is featuring the Ufer here. We have Hasu Ops by um, Team Mouse Sports on the Tassadra. We have a rookie on Abrather. Hysterica is playing Zeratul. And we have Nomi on Arvis. Yeah, so I will show you the other side from Team Alternate. There's Vasil playing Anubarak. There's Mopsio playing Turail. Gluhammer has chosen Fala. Krolu on Brightwing, and last but not least, Gusio as Fallstart. So we'll we'll keep a close eye on Gusio, if he really is that baller that everyone keeps talking about. Yeah. Oh, nice nice positioning here on Anub. They just want uh, Arthas to move a little bit further towards the middle, but he's hiding really well behind these minions. That's not going to help him against the line stun by Anub though. And there goes his stun out, but he gets away. Oh, actually, nice stun there, right next to the wall. Really good. And you have to pay attention on Anu because he did a really great job with body blocks. Awesome to see. Yeah, they're gonna go for a quick grab on this on this easy camp. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. I mean, Tyrell, uh he is a solid... I mean, these two are really good, uh, good ways to uh, grab these easy camps. Uh, with the stun coming out of, um, out of Anu, Grabbing both of these uh, mobs is not going to be an issue. I think this match starts like I've seen before from Alternate. And by the way, right now, <laughs> all the um, all the Alpha players are coming in. I think it's mostly <laughs> Alpha access so far. <laughs> Only a couple guys not having access. That's a little bit surprising. I mean, they did increase um, they did increase the size of the last Alpha wife by I think. 15 times, and most of my friends have, have uh, access right now. Yeah, same yeah, even though they have three players down here, not really the ability to actually uh, get up on Nomi. But they do some solid pushing now with the easy mobs coming in. Ooh, Sterica tries to get in there on top, but a nice stun coming out of Arthas. Just run ring, has your ops waiting. Try to get on Vala in the middle yeah, lane. He's not gonna do all that much. He maybe wants to bait out a couple of skills there, but um, not gonna happen. We're not gonna be having a gank here. Doing some solid pushing down there. And yeah. these three are as well. Another nice stun coming in, but they can't really follow it up. Nomi play is playing this very cleverly, and Anub needs to get out of there. He's pretty low. And the first tribute is spawning. Rightwing's already there. Valak can be there in a in a jiffy. And yep, looks like everyone else needs to. Oh no, Anoop needs to port back. So I doubt that Alternate is actually going to go for this tribute. It will be kind Anoop of interesting. Gone. They really need Anoop to get this. Maybe they can can kind of stall where Matt for a little while, uh, just disrupt the channeling, and then go in once Anoop is back there. But Falset is staying in lane, so I doubt they're going to go for it. Unless they get a solid pick off here initially. Oh, Nomi is actually taking a little bit of damage. He's doing a good job with the stun there, and everyone's just clumping up, but he's still on cooldown with the stun. Alternate didn't lose a single fight at Tribute today. So wow. this will be kind of interesting what they're doing now. Oh, well, this Rob comes in with a nice stun follow-up. Krulu pretty low already. Uh, interrupted again. Yeah, some uh, really good interrupts going off. But, ooh, they're so closely clumped up right there. But uh, Anoop is just doing a good job body blocking everything. Yeah. Oh, there comes the stun down. But they can't really seem to capitalize on it. Now Tyrael moves in. Arthas is pretty low. Ufers as well. And I think this buys them enough time to actually grab this tribute. But they're gonna see if they can disrupt it again. No. Nope. Oh, yes, they can! <laughs> wow, that was incredibly close. But now, Krul on what his way. Yeah, I think yeah they finally get it. Wow, what a clutch dis uh, what a clutch uh, disrupt there on the tribute. Uh, in the end, Crowley was able to grab it though. I mean, they did uh, they did force Pausen Clown out of the fight, and also Arthas had to go. Oh, Crowley, pretty low right there. Uh, but with the Polymorph and Hysterica, not enough damage to take him out. And they're gonna go for the hard camp right there again. Turiel and the noob. Uh, just a really solid combo to take all camps. Um, Arthur is soloing the easy camp here. 
he's pretty low, I think he needs support back after this. Uh, but they should have enough time to actually wait until the next tribute goes up. Oh, Hysterica might be in trouble! No, they want to grab that hard camp before. <laughs> Good job. Tribute comes up, it's a nice position again for alternate, it's on their side of the map. They have almost all players in position, Falsa can just fly up there, flap his wings. And, well, they should be good. They need to disrupt the channeling, though, I think. They yeah. did so. Anupfa from the bottom. Hasuop's already halfway down, but he can always get away. Oh, Vassal completely out of position, but with the deep dive, he gets out of there. And Alternate still patiently waiting, doing a good job, just zoning out, zoning out well, Matt. Luffy not really getting the engagement at the moment. And an amazing stun, Hasuop so low with the drift, he might get away as he does. But Ufer, he falls, Arf is taken out as well, and I think with that, Alternate <laughs> should be in a good position to just grab this tribute, and they will. They will. And th there are the first kills, three kills on the side of Alternate. Looking quite different uh, as to what we've seen in these previous matches out of Wellmat, but they did, ha did have some issues against some team compositions uh, in the early game, so we'll see if they can make a turnaround happen here later on. But for now, some really nice decision making on Alternate's part. As I told you, uh, Alternate is doing such a good job today. Even at the, f the fights, at the tributes. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised. I mean, they should all be going down here to stop this, uh, to stop this attack. There's a lot of uh, a lot of mercs coming in. The easy camp and Anub, Guccio alongside Moabsio and Gluehammer. It's just four. Oh wow, they come see engage. Nice. Zero two is so low, but he does get away. Another stun to follow this up, but not quite there yet. And What's now they're Nomi? in a good position to take out Nomi, but he has Aberthor on his back. Guccio just needs one more hit, but there comes the Void Prison, getting three heroes. That's enough to take them, but they can't get in a good position to actually turn this fight around. Kronu saves everyone there with the ultimate, and now they get that forward. But a really, really uh, solid uh, Void Prison coming out of... Um, uh, who actually set that down? Hysterica. That, that really saved their ass right there. Indeed. But they will get the third tribute. At least they should. He stopped channeling right there, um, even though he wasn't hit. Uh, ultimate is popped by Hiroki. Stun comes in. He's still kept out of the fight. Alternate really wants that tribute. But well, Matt, they did grab the hard camp now. So that's gonna make its way across the mid lane. And Alternate getting in a really good position. Stunning Stasada there. They just want to wait until that ultimate is over, but they need to disrupt, and there it comes down. Stasada going straight for it again. And Nomi already pretty low, but they don't want to focus him right now. Now they're going for it. And Noob wants to go for him. Nobody turn around. And can they get the hit on? Oh, there comes, oh there my comes the God. stun out of Thousand Cloud. Amazing stun. They do get false that. There comes the shield down on Thousand Cloud, but he's taking a lot of damage. Tyrael and the Noob just trying to stop him, but ooh, good Trudel. stun actually uh, getting down on him. And there it is. Alternate again, managed to get the tribute here, and well met, is cursed. But a really good fight coming out of well met, I mean, I didn't think that would be possible that they uh, could actually sustain that fight for so long, but a really, really solid fight, we have to take a look at that afterwards. Uh, they are going to lose that fort in the middle now. Uh, with this, with the bottom fort already gone, this is going to put, uh, this is going to put alternate way ahead of them. Yeah. Alternate one level above. Ah, not even. Oh, they're, they're almost two levels up, but nah, not quite. No, just one level up. But they do have those f two forts down, and that just paves the way um, to go a little bit stronger later on. Um, not the best timing right now on the boss, though, if they do choose to go for that, but... They decided to go... R? Yes. Yeah, they're going for it. They just wanted to stop the minions. And same goes for Wellmet. They are going to go for that boss. Um, just an easy way for them to keep the enemy occupied. But I think they're just going to push with their own boss on top. Ooh, Abathur a little bit out of position, but he knows what's up. He gets away. And they might actually get the third. Yeah, they, they sh will probably get the third forward as well. <laughs> Wellmet is still occupied with the boss down there. Should be able to get it. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, they will get it. Four after four, they for go here to the core. Yeah, so solid level ahead. Let's have a look at the talents. I mean, we've seen most of these ultimates already in action. Ultimate Evolution, of course, Army of the Dead, Void Prison, Archon on Tassadar, and Divine Storm. No real surprises there. We have the Locust Swarm on a noob. Um, Judgment coming down from Tyrael, and Reign of Vengeance for Valor, Emerald Wind for Brightwing, and the Shock and Awe for Falstad. And wow, they're already going for the keep. That's a little bit surprising. Uh, just leaving the boss be in bot lane. They might actually lose their own fort. An amazing void prison. Wow, Hysterica really on top of everything. Can they capitalize on them though? Yeah, everything's just clumped up. But Nomi taking a lot of damage. And the shock and all just takes him out. Hiroki needs to save everyone here. He pops his ultimate as well. Oh, they need to retreat back though. They might lose the keep. The boss is still up. Taking out... A, ooh, doing a good, uh, good amount of damage there. And the... Oh, the easy mercs just on top of everything. I think they're gonna get that keep. Yeah. Or? Oh, it's gonna be close. <laughs> there comes the shield. Wow. It's just the last barely thing. saving it. <laughs> what a clutch timing on the shield. Wow. Yeah, really nice timing there. <laughs> but so far, Alternate uh, really winning out in the objective game as well as the team fights. It's really nice to see that so many teams um, I don't have on my mind just did a great job today. Alternates, I didn't see them before, and here they are in the final, and it seems that they will win the first round. This is a semi final, by the way, so we're oh. still in best of one. And this oh. is all or nothing right now. And right. I mean, <laughs> both of these teams, and uh, what's the last one? Playing with Pain. I think. I don't know, I, I don't want to be favored too much, but I, I think I want uh, uh, Playing With Pain is Pain to win, since they're the only team that are not pro gamers already, so they can actually use that gear, um, that Steel Series gear. Oh, the heal's coming up on the on the keep, so they will keep that alive for a little bit longer, but um, uh, they almost have their level 16 talents. They're coming up. Nice stun coming in there. We have the Rewind on a noob. Blood for Blood, Ontario and Valor. And criticized by Brightwing. Overdrive by Falstad. So, um, a little bit of an edge right now for, for Alternate. They're not, not going for it. I'm really looking forward for the next engagement. Of level 16 to 15 here. Well, well Matt is gonna make that. Uh, just gonna bridge that level gap and they'll be fine. Gonna grab that tower, but they're really on the back foot right now. They need to pick someone off, and this might be their chance. Tyrael's a little bit out of position, but no, not going for it. The next tribute is coming up, but right now, they're just being pushed back, and they want to they want to keep that keep. <laughs> heal after heal on it. Oh, there comes the engage, and the truck and all completely misses. But the Void Prison also not doing that good of a job, and what? Tessa not turning everything around, they take out Zero Tool. What about you, sir? Oh, Hossu Ops also falling, and Arf is the only one left alive up there. Uther in bottom, keeping oh, Yuruki up, but no, he falls as well. And with that, the keep's gone. Almost everyone's down. Pausen Clown, the only one left alive. He already popped his ultimate, so he's not going to be able to stop uh, stop this team. That's no, it. he can't even get in there. This is going to be game. Alternate takes us and moves on to the final. Wow, yeah. we thought Wellman was invincible. Apparently not quite the case, ultimately just being a little bit better here.